Okay, today we're building a little pollinator house. Nothing fancy, but we just want to have something where we could have a few more pollinators in the garden this year. Last year we struggled getting enough bees and things and other pollinators to come and especially get the squash, the cucumbers, and some of the other plants to pollinate. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a real simple pollinator house just out of a log and drill a bunch of holes in it. You can find tons of a bee house. My wife's telling me, and uh, we're just gonna drill a bunch of holes in it, real, real simple. So, just to give you an idea of what we did already. You can see that we got our log right here, and we got our cut piece from the log. I'll go grab that. So, maybe about eight, ten inches across, eight, ten inches wide, and I left mine about an inch and a half thick. So, that's it, we're cutting this hole. Then we're just going to drill a whole bunch of holes in it. I got the cordless drill and what I did was I checked to see about the depth. So you can see we only want to go in about that far. So I taped it, made sure I didn't go past the tape. And uh, I'm going to have these little guys help me do the rest of it, drill it out and I'll show you at the end. Hopefully we'll get some more bees and other pollinators hanging out. All right, and we're done. We got all of our holes drilled. A couple of lessons learned as we went through and did this. Number one, these guys really help. Big help. Did a good job. But here's what happened. So you can see now, we drew all these holes. It took about 10 minutes, but we got through it. I'm trying to leave a little bit of extra space around the outside just so it doesn't weaken it. But here's something to notice. I was drilling in, there was already a little bit of a split on the outside of this log. So it managed to split it right through. So I think what we're going to do is actually take this and break it right in half. So now we have two. We're going to hang them just like this, right? All the way out, over and by the garden. Bees, and then bees come in and make honey. Well, they're not going to make honey, but they're going to help pollinate and they're going to pollinate all of our veggies when they come through. So now we've got two bee houses we can put at the top side and the bottom side of the garden. I'm probably going to put a little bit of, funny enough, beeswax on this just to keep the wood wet so it doesn't dry out. Um, I might hang them with a little hook on the top or maybe a little hook in the back side or something on the fences up in the top and the bottom. Um, I was thinking about sealing it with maybe like a poly or something. Probably not a good idea, but I may put a little strip around the outside. I don't want to put anything that's too sensitive or might be harmful to the bees on the actual face. So I'm going to use a real light beeswax kind of hydration on the cup front and the back sides of the wood here just so that it's not splitting. You can see it's already a little bit dry but um, I think that'll help. So we'll come back to it as we go through. <laughs> we'll, come, we'll come back to it as we do uh, as we get into summertime here and see how the bees are doing. But thanks for watching and have a great day. Say bye. Bye.